Welcome back, Journey Gang. Sunday is here, and it's your favorite millennials. About to do another reaction. That boy Joe Burrow, the man, y'all. That's super nanny. That boy Joe Burrow, the man. We supposed to be welcoming our Journey Gang. Hey, welcome Joe back, Journey Weber. Gang. Joe Burrow. We're to welcome them back old to our Ma channel. Oh, Macaulay Culkin, Joe Burrow. He's the man. Welcome. Usually right here is when we go on and read a little comments from the video, but the comments from this video are turned off for some reason. I've never seen Superman turn the comments off. Must have been some negative feedback. That's the only time they some, you know, a lot of these public pages turn off the comments. Must have been some negative stuff going on. This video is titled, Joe Clashes, mm, can I speak? Joe Clashes with NBA superstar Mike James. We have forgot to announce this <laughs> in our, Excuse me, let me get my clothing right. You go on to that search engine, what's it called again? Google. Like Google. The big search engine that everybody know about called Google. Okay, if you type in Super Nanny Reactions, She's guess so who's gonna come up? She's so embarrassing. We know we in the top, you know, five. Top five, you know what I'm saying? A little flex, light flex, it's a light flex. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you just Google, you know, you can Google us. <laughs> Yeah, we appreciate you guys' support, so please, right before we get into this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it helps our channel out and it also helps you because you're here for the good content. <laughs> right before you go to work on Monday, get yourself a little journey with the Lewis family dose. You heard what I said? You heard what I said. Don't play with me. I watched Dad put the kids to bed and after that, I wanted to sit down and talk to him about his take on bedtime and really what he thought about it. So is it equally important to yourself as it is to Angela to have the kids sleeping in their own rooms and having a bedtime routine? I don't care. <laughs> <It's not> <laughs> so um, <laughs> the first part is the <laughs> don't play with me. Now, Because that sounds like something I say to my kids. Yeah, I was going to say, I say that to my girls because sometimes they, be playing. they think it's a game. They do. And I have to tell them, yo, stop playing with me. You do got to say don't play with me. Like, don't play with, with me. With the finger. Like, yo, don't. don't I don't do it with the finger. I don't need the, I don't okay. need the finger. I just say, like, yo, don't play with me. At and this they point, get it together. My man got his plate of food. He not worried about what them kids doing. He not worried about what them kids doing. He trying to eat. <laughs> That's what he trying to do. That's why he was like, I don't care. <laughs> He's trying to be important. He got a big plate you know, too. This, this is not about Mike James and his universe. You know, this is about him acknowledging also the people that have supported him and him becoming the success that he is. Okay. So what challenges do you think Angela's going to address whilst you're gone? Being away from me. That's our that's biggest challenge. So his main thing is he is self-centered. Yeah, his head has got to be this big. But like when you're in the NBA, I guess I have to understand what I, well yeah, I guess I have to understand when you're in the NBA, like the women are flocking to you. Even if you're a bench player, you're in the NBA. Right. It doesn't matter. You're in the NBA. So these women are flocking to you. The attention is flocking to you. You're getting you're getting art your name's articles in here and there. But that ain't right for him to say that. I, I get all that. But that still ain't right for him to say. But that's say, his ego. That's that, right. That's why I said his head is this big. That's what that stuff does to you. It, well, it can do to you. Your, the you're biggest not, concern for you is her missing you or whatever he said. Let's see. How does it make you feel when you know that your wife's tired and and she's depleted? One thing I, I learned. Looks the fingers. Who? Thing I, you wanna, you want you want the signs of a man <laughs> that don't care what you talk about right now? That's one of them, right there. Oh my gosh. The, yeah, well, let me tell you something. Especially in this world, first it ain't no rest for the weary. I'm, I'm tired I'm, and depleted. Yeah, also, I'm tired. Of, but you know what? I'm tired of getting up every single morning, 7:30 in I'm the asking, morning. But I'm asking you but about I'm your just wife. Saying, though, but what I'm trying to explain to you is. I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do on the court. She has to do what she has to do as far as with the business, with the finance, everything. So, let me stop right there. Let me, let me go first on this. Let me interject first on this. Because as a wife, and this is where it comes with compromise and understanding. Mm -hmm. Because, see, this is the problem that some men I feel like have, especially men who are the financier. 
however you say, of the house. Like, just because your wife is not out there making the money for the house or majority of the money for the house or whatever, she's running the businesses and stuff, that's still a job. Being it a mom, is. she's a full-time mom. She has to cook your meals, cook your kids' meals, run the businesses at home, make sure your finances are, in straight, are straight because you also make a lot of money that needs to be monitored. Amen. And stuff like that. So, you know, you know, he's not working a regular nine to five where yeah. he just gets his check and they take the taxes out. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff has to be done. The books have to be done by her. You know what I'm saying? If he doesn't hire anybody else and he says she's running the businesses. So that's obviously means there's other money coming in that she has to manage as well. And then manage you and the kids. Like, guys sure. have to understand that that is a lot too. Don't discredit because you're the NBA star and you're making all this money. And I, and I put you in a mansion that... I could discredit what you do at home. Yeah, like you the can't woman is keeping the house afloat. Like yeah. you, you have a house to come home to because and of it's her. clean. Not because of you. Yes, you bring the you bring the money. You, you pay for it, but she makes it a home. Yeah, but she makes it a home. She mm -hmm. makes it so the kids have what they need. You have what you need when you come home. If the lights are on, everything's on. You can't discredit the woman. She's running that builds a home. Yeah, and she's running the background. Of everything, you probably you you all you have to do is focus on being an NBA star. Mm -hmm. She's making sure the bills are paid. That's a lot. It's just because yeah, you got the money to pay. It doesn't mean it still does. It has to still be managed. She got to make sure when is the light bill due, when is the mortgage due, when are the car if you know if you, <clears throat> it, car insurance or <sighs> all these things she's managing. And then also if the kids have things, you know it's it's a lot. So I digress off of that. But men, if you're making the money out there. And you have a wife or a girlfriend that's holding the house down. Give her, give her a little something extra this month. Give her a little something extra this month. Okay? Cash app her or no, ain't no the, cash app. Feet grown, rub, at the grown spa day. Say, you can Apple Pay or you can just set up the appointment and they'll go themselves. Yeah, like no, she don't want money. She wants time and affection and attention. She got the money. She don't need you to cash app or anything else. She can get her hair and nails done. She what wants you to now spend time. What if she's out? What if she's out? She ain't out no money. She wants affection and love at this point. She, mm, you know, you're right. I, ain't, I ain't care you know, what you're He you're became right. rather combative with me. It was just really uncordial to really behave that way when you've only just met somebody. Mm. So I see more than what you have seen in the past 24 hours, not even 24 hours, but and come to a conclusion on a situation less than 12 hours. I'm about to show you how I can. Bull crap. Mm. I refuse to believe that. It's always easier to deal with somebody else's children but until you have your own there is a point yes it is always easier because you can give them back mm -hmm. but super nanny has been this is the one thing i get irritated when people try to tell super nanny how to do her job i get irritated at this and i just have to say this real quick because she's the expert in this situation she knows how to process the information she's seen she's seen hundreds of kids Hundreds of families. So she knows how to process information quicker because this is her job. She literally is super nanny. She doesn't do super nanny on the side and she's just coming in and she does banking full, full time. time. And then, full time job. right, so she knows what she's doing. So she is able to come in and make a clear assessment because not only does she have the uh the exp the long term experience she probably has some educational background with dealing with children or she wouldn't be able to do with it or she wouldn't be able to really do this on a national scale that she's been doing this on if she didn't have some type of credentials to come into family homes and assess she know what she doing yes she can give you an assessment in 24 hours can she tell you everything no she can't she's asking you specific questions dealing with a specific i'm sorry my contact just did something weird She's asking you specific questions based on her, this, whatever she saw. She's not just giving like this broad assessment like, oh, your kids are bad. You're just, you're just going to play and you're going to play basketball and your wife's just home. She's asking you specific questions. So anyway, that's all I have to say about that because I just get irritated when people try to tell people how to do their jobs. I don't like it at all. It doesn't even matter what profession you're in. If you're not the expert in it, don't tell, try to tell somebody how to do their job. And if you are trying to, if you feel, if you're disagreeing with the person, there's a different way to do it. Yeah, that's like telling your grandma how to cook. You got to get in the kitchen and cook that soul food. My... What? Come on. Come on. Get out of my face, boy. There's a different way to approach it. But anyway, I digress again.
She always digress. Oh, you that, never. It's very oh, arrogant. Oh, no, it's, it's not. It's not. It's a truth. It is, it not is even arrogant. Giving me a chance. Yeah. 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 You're not even giving me a chance. This is what I find amazing. That you actually I'm giving had the, you a chance. You no, you're giving her the chance control. you want to give her. I'm giving to make you a decision chance. to have me come here. here. And I'm appreciating you being here. You can't come to a better assessment about my family than I can. You can. Okay, real quick. So why you call her then? Y'all know what Super Nanny do? She come in and assess the family. Because it's clearly something that you can't figure out, that you two right. can't figure so out. What do so you brought her in to help you guys figure out what it is that you need exactly. to connect to connect more with your children. Exactly. <laughs> Boy, what a gaslighting. To help and resolve the situations. That's exactly what I am gonna do, otherwise I won't be here. Okay, yeah. I ain't got nothing to say. Okay. Now you're gonna be quiet. Okay. You know what you can do? He's I'm so listening. arrogant. And trust me. I'm going to listen to you, and I'll come to that assessment for myself when I listen to you. When you're trying to come into my family, and now, after a few hours, try to tell me how I'm supposed to be. I don't think she, this is, and that's why his, this is where <laughs> yeah. his arrogance is coming in. She's not telling you how you're supposed to be. She's giving you an assessment of what you guys could work on. Mm -hmm. She's not telling you how to be. And see, sometimes people who are used to positions of power don't know how to receive information. It could be anything. You don't know how to receive it with grace because you're so used to being the, the, the top boss in charge. You the big NBA star. You know, now I can see why the comments might be turned off. They might have got a little negative because he was being her. very arrogant. Yeah, they got, they dug in that. They took the shovel. They took out the shovel with the metal, with the metal at the end of it so you can really dig in there. Mm -hmm. And they dug in. It. He was being very rude and arrogant. For no reason. So, For no reason. He wasn't, he wasn't welcoming the information she was trying to when get. When you do stuff, this yeah. is what I get. When you do stuff like this though, when you invite a stranger into your home for like these assessment purposes, like Super Nanny, or you get married at first sight, you can't sign up for this show and not be open-minded. But that just means he got some work he needs to be done on himself. So, like, probably exactly. after he's done his NBA career, he can start working on himself. Exactly, because this hothead mess, no. Mike James, it's my family. NBA superstar. It's almost like, hold on. So, tomorrow, mm -hmm. we'll have a nice family meeting, all right? We'll sit down, we'll talk he's about it. He's being so, that's to, smirk, to it's just mm -hmm. rude. Right, so that we can knuckle down and do some hard work. So I'll see you Hope tomorrow. Enough. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna touch you. His statement oh. yeah. is pretty typical of a parent who feels rather defensive mm -hmm. and insecure about my presence in their household. Right. He's being defensive because he doesn't want his he doesn't want the picture painted that he, he doesn't raise his kids yeah, right. Yeah, he, or... he doesn't have control. And nobody over even his said household. that. That's not yeah, that's no not No one she, she not didn't even say for. that. You're already on a defense mode, and she didn't even say that. No. Like, you're you're actually intimidated by Super Danny almost, and because I'm, he's used to being the intimidator. And like I said, all she wants to do is help you connect better with your children mm -hmm. and your family. I mean, your wife. Yes, you know, you're, she's, she's there to help you connect with your kids, but also to connect with your wife. Mm -hmm. And you acting like this, dog. I mean, you're not gonna be, uh, God, I mean, you know, God forbid, I wouldn't be surprised your wife divorced you after this because you act like you don't want to change. Well, maybe, well, we're not getting the whole context of everything. So maybe after this episode ended, when they do their last little like sit down, the wrap up, he took a look it, at himself and was like, you know what? Maybe it worked. It is me. And maybe I do need to, you know, rearrange some things in my brain. Yep. I just hope that Mike starts to grow some empathy towards his wife's situation. Mm. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. You're welcome. She's so Thank sweet. you. She's so sweet. Yeah, he really got a I really hope I'm gonna see if maybe I can find another like um clip on this family because I would love to see what the outcome of this particular case mm -hmm. was. Because yeah. I feel like he was being so arrogant. A lot of times, the, the arrogant parents in the beginning be the most changed at the end. Yeah, because they, they you, really see like she's really only really trying like, to help. They, she, she really just tried to help me, and yes. I tried to overpower her, thinking she was trying to hurt me. Mm -hmm. And that that wasn't what it was. It was nothing but help, just love and help. Exactly. So I would love to see where this went. How he also maybe uh, fixed some things with his wife, because mm -hmm. a lot of people think children bring people together and really it tears wow. them apart if you are not ready to have a child and your relationship is not stable it will only make it worse like seriously and super nanny is only there to help okay 
Don't call her up if you don't want the help. <laughs> Straight like that. Don't go to the car dealership if you ain't really ready to buy the car. Okay? Cause your credit okay. wasn't good. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. We hope you stayed to the end. Thank you. Anyway, Thank don't you. forget to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up if you continue to like our Super Nanny reactions and we'll be back next Sunday with another reaction. Yup, in my white tee. In my white tee. Yup, in my white tee. In my white tee. Yup, in my white tee. In my white tee. Yup, in my white tee. And nothing's on the back. <laughs>